In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this nice overlapping text animation right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects, we're just going to begin by creating a new background. So we'll go layer, new solid, press OK on this option, and then we'll go into four color gradient, drag this onto our video and just complete the gradient animation background effect. Now, there is a tutorial just up here if you wanted to watch that, but essentially we're just going to create a nice gradient background before we add the text on. Great, so as you can see, we now have this nice gradient background. Now we can actually begin by creating our text. So the first step is to just go on to the T icon at the top of After Effects, type in the video and just type the first letter of your phrase. So in my example, that is B. I'm just going to increase the size of this. Feel free to change the font, the weight, all of these other settings, but you just want to create your text and then just center that up on the line by using the proportional grid as a reference. Now from here, you just want to go into effects and presets and search for drop shadow. Drop that onto your text and then from there, we're just going to go into opacity, pull that up to 100% for now. Direction, we're just going to move over to the right and then distance will just increase to the point where we can see it. Then feel free to increase the softness just a little bit like this. And then have a play with the opacity. But once you're happy with the way that looks, you can now just begin the animation process. So to animate this, we want to make sure the anchor point is on the left of the text. So as of right now, if I click it, you can see the anchor point is there. So in transform, you can see we've got anchor point just there. So you want to move this over to the very left like this, and then just center that up as well. Then we can put this back on that line, which is just here. It's also worth really noting as well that you want to go to paragraph and select left align text. So instantly you can see by doing that, it's moved the anchor point over. So we just need to move that back onto that line. Now, the reason why I'm left aligning this text is because every time I create a new text, if I don't do that, it's going to move the anchor point. Whereas when I left align it, it should always put it on the left. So with that done, now we just want to go to scale. We're going to unlink uniform scale. So the width and the height are now separate from each other. Go a few frames over and create a new keyframe on scale. Then we'll go to the very beginning and we're going to pull the left option, which is the horizontal down to zero. And when we play this back, you can see that animates out like this. Of course, feel free to add a little bit of a bounce. So to do a bounce, we'll change that second point past 100. So we'll go 110 and then a few frames over it, you can pull that back to 100. So when we play this back, this is what we get. Of course, as well, feel free to convert those keyframes to easy ease keyframes. So easy ease. And that's what we end up with. It really helps to smooth that motion out. But once you've done that, we essentially now have the template and now we can just copy and paste and change all of the letters to spell out our word or our phrase. So next one is going to be R. So I'm going to copy and paste command C on Mac or control C, control V on Windows. We'll change this one to R. And then we'll just move that over to the right. But at the moment, you can see it's sitting on top, not beneath. So we're just going to put B on top of R. And you can see we're getting that cool shadow effect now taking place. So we're going to copy R, command C, command V, change the lower one to your next letter, which in my example would be O. Move that over and we'll do the same thing again. So copy and paste. Move that over, copy and paste the O and just keep repeating this process until you have finished your word or your phrase of choice. Now, don't worry if this doesn't match the center yet. We're going to parent everything to a null object and place that all in the center later on. So for now, you're fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just always make sure that every time you create the next letter, it's always on the layer below. So you always want the first letter at the top and the last letter at the very bottom. 
So this is what we end up with. And if we play this back, they all animate on at the same time, which is not the effect we are going for. We want to stagger these on. So it's first letter, second letter, third letter, and so on. So we'll go three frames to the right and we'll move the second letter over. Then we'll go another three and move over. And we'll just play this back before we carry on. So you can see that is the effect that we get. It's quite a cool and interesting effect. So we're going to go another three and just keep repeating this process over and over again until you have successfully finished all of those letters. So when we play this back, that's what we end up with. And that is quite a cool way to animate the text in. Now, before I mention about a null object, so we're going to do that now. So let's go layer new null object drag that to the very top and then we'll select all of those text layers so b all the way through to the r go into this box here and select null three so that is your parent and link you are linking everything to null object and then we're just going to turn on the proportional grid to help us frame this up go into transform on the null object and then just move the position over to the right to center this up and when we play this back, you can see this is what we end up with. It's a really cool, interesting, dynamic text effect, all created inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. And if you wanted to create some other really cool text animations inside of Adobe After Effects, great news. I have a playlist. You can find it just there. Click that to find loads of different text animations right inside of AE. So thank you for watching and I will see you in a future video.